Okay, so this is actually a different study, but you know, under the same uh, uh, cohort of patients uh, with pulsithymia vera that we followed at our center, and we were interested in addressing the question of whether um, splenomegaly and pulsithymia vera, uh, which is, you know fairly common, I would say 30%, you know, you can consider that common or not. But I think the uh, the point of this study was to see whether that finding of splenomegaly in pulsithymia vera, uh, whether it predicts long-term outcomes, specifically does it predict survival outcomes, uh, um, survival free of myelofibrosis or overall survival. Uh, and I think the motivation behind this was really um, stemming from the fact that there are clinical trials that use splenomegaly as a criteria uh, to uh, include patients in studies or potentially to uh, monitor responses to treatment. So if that's a criteria included in polycythemia vera clinical trials, we need to understand why. And I think it's important to determine whether it's justified or whether other um, uh, criteria should be used. Uh, and what we found in that study is that splenomegaly at the time of diagnosis of PV or the time of presentation to our center, maybe few years after diagnosis or so, uh, is indeed uh, predictive of <clears throat> myelofibrosis-free survival, but it is not predictive of over overall survival. Um, now, we can debate about why that is, but I, I would say what what's important in that study and the finding of that study is knowing splenomegaly is associated with PV progression to myelofibrosis uh, should perhaps prompt us as clinicians to think about uh, patients uh, with PV who could be progressing earlier um, and be able to, you know, potentially um, do a bone marrow biopsy to determine whether or not they have uh, disease progression to myelofibrosis. Uh, and two, if they do, um, to intervene perhaps early with disease modifying therapy, in which case uh, it would be interferon, uh, which we have previously shown in a publication uh, to uh, prolong myelofibrosis free survival and overall survival. Um, so I think it's important to be aware of those findings because splenomegaly in PV uh, may potentially correlate with uh, uh, myelofibrosis progression.